Hello! Today, you might be noticing that we're not in Infernal Sky 2. Well, there's a good reason for that, and that, and that reason is that I have built something, which I think is pretty cool. This. Let's let it load here. Alright, well now that it seems to be loaded right, I'll tell you what this thing does. Actually, let me just... There we go. Why are we going dark on us? Well, this is a memory system. Uh, it's pretty cool. It has 128 spaces available, 128 bits at the moment. Of course, later I'm going to add a lot more by copying and pasting this thing and then wiring them together. But I'm sure you want to know how to, well, how do I use this thing? Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you. Currently, we are looking, we are reading bit that has this number on it. 16 zeros is its name, we'll say. Anyway, we are currently, that bit is set to a 1, as you can tell by this being on. So, what we have over here is, uh, well, there are two command lines down here where we can reprogram the bit that's being read to either be a 0 or a 1. Anyway, so that, that it is currently a 1, let we'll just say we changed it to be a 0. And there it goes. Bit 16 zeros is now currently set to off, or 0. Now let's try a different number. Let's say 3, 1, and 5. Alright, let's see. Now that bit is currently a 1. That was, yes, I left all of the... All of these are by default 1, as I left it on. I could change it, of course. Anyway, since this bit is a 1 right now, let's so uh, go over here and we'll make it a 0 for right now. And there it goes. Now, let's see, that was a 1, 3, and a 5. Let's not forget that. Now, let's go back to this bit we had over here before. That's a 0, as we left it before. Let's change it back to be a 1 again. There it goes, bit 16 zeros is now a 1. So then, let's go back to bit 1, 3, and 5, which, as we left it, is a 0. Now, let's make that thing a 1. Push button. Get on. So anyway, I'm sure... I'm sure you're curious on how this thing works, and if I get enough likes on this video, I will do a video on how this thing works, and possibly put up a schematic, or a world download maybe. As I was thinking of going on the forums and making a whole bunch of uh, redstone schematics and then putting them up for download. Anyway, let's do, let's, uh, do a few numbers here. Currently, I am only using seven of these uh, total 16 possible input lines, as those are the total necessary for the 128 spaces. Anyway, if I were to add more, I uh, did a few numbers. One tower like this is 128 bits. If I were to do 8 bits of input, I could make that a maximum of t two towers, or... Let's see, I believe that is 256 total bits. Two towers, four towers, eight towers, 16 towers, then 32, 64, 128, 256, or a possible 512 towers of memory, which would be about 35,000 bits. Of course, naturally, there isn't space in the loaded chunks around me to possibly have 35,000 bits, at least with something this big. So I guess that's my demonstration video for this. My computer's starting to get a little warm right now. If you can hear the fan in the background, I'm going to try to get rid of that noise. Anyway, uh, if this gets enough likes, I'll do a whole tutorial on how this thing works. Alright, so end of this video.
And goodbye, I'll be posting more Infernal Sky 2 videos shortly.